Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today we're reviewing a brand new composting toilet, new to the market. This is the Compo Closet Cuddy. It's a really cool toilet, and let's just get right into this review. All right, so here we have it. Uh, we met the Compo Closet crew at Moon Landing which is an event I highly recommend you put on your calendar for next year. It's in October in New Mexico. But anyways, we met these guys at Moon Landing. We talked to them um, and we said, hey, let's review your toilet. I think this is a great product and I just want to help get the word out. So we're just going to get right into it. We've had it for about a couple weeks. Yeah, two to three weeks we've been using it and we really like it. So we're just going to show you why. We're going to show you some features on it and hopefully this will help you make a decision. So before we start, this is the Cuddy. This has the agitator in it and this is a $780 toilet. They also make one without the agitator, but that one's going to come in around $650, somewhere in that price range. I'll update that here on the screen if I was wrong with the price. But the only difference there is that one doesn't have the agitator. I'm gonna ask Danny, what are some of your favorite things about the toilet so far? So Kevin makes fun of me because one of the favorite, my favorite things about this is that um, it, it doesn't look like a toilet. Um, he, he doesn't understand why that's a big deal, but being in a van, everyone's always like, oh, your toilet's next to your kitchen and like everything is next to everything in your van. So I kind of like that the toilet doesn't look like a toilet. Um, with that being said, it could be black too. I don't know, in the future, that would be cool if it was black because um, white kind of always looks like a toilet. Oh yeah, very yeah. true. Um, and then I, li I love that it's just, this is the footprint. The footprint is this small. Um, when, when you're talking about um, the nature's head or something, you, all, you have to account for space for the agitator wheel off to the side. You have to account for, you, you know, even the fan coming off to the side, the, the hose coming off to the side. So it's a lot bigger than the actual footprint is when you get the toilet, um, when you're building. This, the agitator is very sleek. It, it's in the front. You can pull it out and then twist it. This is how you agitate. Um, and then also I like that the, uh, another thing that you have to um, use on the nature's head is you have to have the little, um, flip down for this thing to open and this is all contained within the square footprint so i really like that and then i also like that there's a light if you have ever had a composting toilet and you you have peed in you know used the urine diverter and had pee go in it sometimes it's overflowed and it's disgusting but <laughs> this this has a light so that you will never overflow and have that disgusting mess that you have to clean up pee is probably the worst smell that you'll ever have in your van. Um, so, so having a light so that you can dump it out when you know that it's full is really awesome. I really like that feature. I've never seen that on a toilet and that's probably one of my favorite things about this toilet. It's actually more des designed with the nomadic community in mind. When we spoke to them, it was more of a product for van lifers, bus lifers, RVers. So that's why you get this nice, sleek, compact design. Another thing it features is this enormous drop zone. So if we can just pull it forward and you see you just flip the switch here and you have this big opening, right? That's a huge opening. So I don't think you're ever going to miss. The indicator for the urine is awesome. And let's just flip it open and show some more of the uh, features in here. Before yep. we do that, there's a couple other things that I want to hit on here. Is the fact that there's not a lot of crevices. We've had our nature's head for years and it gets pretty disgusting in the little crevices in the, um, in the flip open part here. It has these little screws in there where, you know, some, some pee kind of gets stuff and encrusted and crystallizes yeah, in there. True. So it doesn't have any spaces where stuff can crystallize. It's really easy to wipe down. Um, I, I just really like all that fe and those features. And as a girl, how do you think the urine diverter works? Because I know it's different for men. And I will say one thing, you will have to sit down to pee on all composting toilets if you're a man, specifically this one, because it is going to splatter everywhere. There's really no way around that. Uh, you have to sit down on all composting toilets. So let's just get that out there. Well, how's the urine diverter been working for you? I really like this one. It's a really comfy seat. Um, and the urine diverter works great for, for women. 
bigger surface area for here, the urine diverter and it's easier and it's, to clean as she mentioned no yeah. crevices so we just use a little bit of vinegar and a spray bottle and wipe it clean and another thing with this too with the urine diverter the way that it is um design the way that it is designed is that it slants really far down a lot of times if you park on a side you know next to a curb or something in the city if you're city camping um, sometimes you know because you, the way that ours is is if we're parked on a curb your van kind of slants this way but this no matter what the p goes down into the p zone it doesn't get pulled up because you're kind of slanted like this in your van so i really like the design on that I don't know if that's why they made it like that, but it works perfect like yeah, for that reason. Yeah, great point. And then also the agitator in the front. So currently the Nature's Head has this big ass agitator here. This one, you know, we have to reach in and turn it. This one's so much easier. We just pull it out the front, give it some turns one way, give it some turns the other, and it just turns so much easier. I feel like sometimes I'm putting all my strength into my Nature's Head. So. That's a cool feature. I mean, they really thought about just keeping it slim and compact. So let's just keep moving on because I think we could talk about how sleek <laughs> it is the entire time. One fallback is, and this could be easily fixed, you know, we could add a little clip here or something, but when you do open it to clean it, the back lid does just kind of flip down. But I had learned recently through um, Compo Closet's Instagram is you can pop the seat off very, very easy. easily. So that might be why that is there. Seat pops off. As you can see, when you sit down, you know, the seat stays up. And it's nice just to have it all in one encased unit, closing it, and we slide it away into place. So opening it up, here is where we access our 9-volt battery for our um, urine indicator. indicator, which is awesome. Um, by far our favorite one of our favorite things. I mean, it is really nice to know when the urine's full, especially, especially on this unit. Especially because it's black. You can't tell. And you and can't see. You can't see. So yeah. I think they had to build that in. Uh, one thing, I'm not crazy about the urine container, and we can kind of get into this. We won't go too much in depth. One thing is, is nice though, is kind of like the Trailino. Um, they add this little, so you get that extra little blockage of urine smell, and also, it comes with the lid and Danny will probably say don't throw it away <laughs> yeah don't throw it away because he throws all of them away he's like what's this for I don't know what this is for and then when I go to throw you know toss the pee out so I'm... you pop the lid on there and then you dump it out here the only thing I don't like about this is I feel like it needs a better handle um, and also it's just kind of a little it just seems like maybe this plastic might crack or something that's just my opinion i don't think it really will i mean what are we going to do like throw this off a cliff i don't think so <laughs> but yeah so i think maybe a better handle i mean when this gets full and heavy i mean maybe it's good for our rock climbing right straightening those fingers but i think it could be a little bit better is what do you agree with that or am i just crazy no yeah i mean i have smaller fingers than you so it doesn't really bother me as much but um and I kind of like that you can't tell. You're like, what is that person yeah, carrying? Looks like a battery I love, yeah, I love when you can't tell what the pee jug is because if you are kind of van lifing in the city, you have to walk to the, you know, the public restroom and bring your pee jug with you almost daily sometimes. So not knowing what you're taking into the bathroom is so great. I yeah. love that. And we just put it in like a reusable shopping bag, right? Mm -hmm. And carry it off to the toilet. Yeah. And I'll put this on so I don't forget because then we will have <laughs> Then we'll a have big a big mess. Pee mess. But yeah. the nice thing is too, um, if you do somehow overflow the urine, it's separated between the, the, the number twos, the solids, and the other one. So it will just overflow into this kind of basin built in here. So I'll slide that back into place. I'll let her hold on to that so I don't lose it. And then we're just going to move on. So another cool thing is it has a carbon filter here in the back. That is awesome. I feel like I have re really had, I mean. No smells. Right? Yeah. Does it seem like it smells less than our old one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the other cool thing is you can opt to still vent out the bottom. You just kind of cut a hole down in the bottom. But let's just get into the agitator. I'll cut to some clips of us using the agitator here, but really simple. You just pull the front out and then you kind of just churn the um, solids here. We just cleaned it out so you're not really looking at anything gross here. I wouldn't do that to you guys. But 
so yeah you turn it a few times one way turn it a few times other and um, they recommend filling it to about an inch above the agitators here so it's about one it's actually exactly one standard cocoa core brick so we use cocoa core you can also use peat moss and sawdust that's what they recommend um, i've just had the best luck with the cocoa core right now this is a little dry you do want it a little more moist and the cool thing um compo closet is pretty passionate about this stuff and they're gonna like really teach you within their website and their blog and their um, instagram how you want that medium you do want it a little more moist this is a little too dry we are in the southwest it has been incredibly dry so it's just dry so it's kind of hard to do anything about that it also has really nice stainless hinges so these are pretty fancy hinges here after all the cabinet work we've done this is a super nice hinge uh the the kind of swivel it's all kind of plastic based that's kind of worrisome but it looks, I mean, it looks pretty hardy plastic how though. many times though i mean what you're going to flip that open maybe once or twice a day you know throughout a year of the toilet what is that you know 600 700 times if you're using it every day which would be very impressive so yeah it's a it's amazing toilet well i also forgot to mention when we pop back open the lid so the agitator so the solid container you basically flip the agitator up so that this is upside so down that's upside down the compost co closet logo then you pull it out. So how we clean it, and I think this cleans way easier, way easier. than the nature's head. Yeah. I totally, I don't know how I haven't talked about this yet. The nature's head, you literally have to put a bag over the entire toilet, and then take half of it off, flip and then it. flip it over. This, I just pulled this out. I cleaned it before we came here. I put it a, a plastic bag around it, and I just dumped all the solids into a bag, and that was it. It was incredibly easy. You can spray easy. it down if you want. You can just flip it out and that's so, it. Yeah, it's kind of like the um, Trailino, right? So if you haven't seen our Trailino review, checking it out here, a little more basic toilet. I would recommend something more like this if you're a full-time van lifer, but sometimes it is nice to have something like the Trailino. But I just love how this pops right out. Such an easy to clean unit. Put it back in and then you don't have any hinges. It just shuts. Then it's done and then i just slide it away so they definitely made ease of cleaning um that definitely gets five out of five kooks there yeah especially with an agitator because usually the ones with an agitator are very difficult to clean they don't just pull out like that um, the way that they've designed it so that you could flip that upside down so you could pull the whole thing out and then dump it really easily is just kind of like the Trailino on steroids, you yeah. know, it's like the Trailino with an agitator because um, the agitator does really help aerate, help break down that, you know, all of your, your, organic your poops, matter. All, thank you, all of your organic <laughs> matter and it helps it break it down into a compost medium. Um, so I, re I like the agitator while I do like that they came out with the Cuddy Light where you can just do the, the bag. And if you are living in the city, that's pretty nice because then you just take the bag every day and then you just take it to the toilet and then you put a new bag in and then you take the bag and you take it to a toilet every time. Then you don't even ever, ever have to worry about, is there a smell? Can I smell that? Yeah, you and know? the carbon filter really helps. I didn't think it would, but oh my gosh, does it. So on the back here, flipping it around, um, we do have the option to vent. So it has a built-in fan and that is all 12 volts. So right off the back, uh, you just would run this to your battery uh, positive negative or you could hook it up to one of these five millimeter jacks here i had it hardwired i had to actually pull it out for the review but the other nice thing is it just is all off of these little five millimeter jacks so it goes in here you can unplug that and it even has little handles here on the underneath side so if you wanted to just do your business out here on the mesa all by you know you can do that and you know i think why not? You know, we get to do that in van life. We get to have scenic poops, right? We get to see. Yeah, scenic poops are our favorite. This is going to be our new toilet in our van. It's just the sleekness with the agitator, with the urine light, with the price, right? It comes in about $300 cheaper than Nature's Head, which is kind of the king of composting toilets at the moment. 
and then it comes in just a couple hundred bucks more than a Trailino. And if you like more the basic Trailino style, you can get the Cuddy Light, you get the carbon filter, you get the option to ventilate, and you also get the urine light. So I think Compo Closet has knocked this one out of the park. Last final test, uh, I brought the toilet back to the shop. I did need to uh, put a nine volt battery in here. So you have to unscrew this little compartment, put the nine volt battery in, and then um, tighten it back in and it just has two screws here i don't want to block the view but that's the battery compartment for the urine um, sensor it is a 1.7 gallon urine container so it does hold quite a bit so i'm just going to shut the lid here and we're going to add a little more water oh there you go so once it reaches full, the light turns on. Once the indicator goes off, you do have a little extra space to use, but I would just um, recommend changing it after you do your business and the red light is on. So you can just simply pull it out. Um, it also comes with this other lid. So pulling it out, swapping the lids. This is what I said, it's kind of an awkward device here. So you can pull it out you could put this lid on and then you can actually just pour out the urine out of that spigot there. So 1.7 gallon urine container here. And then the solids, uh, I haven't actually shown you much of this. So the solids container is actually about four gallons, 3.9 gallons. And I'm just gonna show you a better view of the agitator here. So yeah, this is the last little part of the review we'll do. So the agitator is much different than the um, nature's head the nature's head kind of just has two loops a lot of times what happens on those loops is a lot of the medium kind of gets stuck on the corners and then another thing that happens is a lot of it just kind of gets stuck in the sides whereas this seems more like it's like a a rake right it almost kind of rakes through it um, this one seems to be working about the same because no matter what you still kind of get these crevices built up so that's why it's good to kind of go both ways and like I said, my compost medium could always be a little more moist. Um, it's just so dry here in New Mexico this time of year. So yeah, we're just kind of churning it. I do like this agitator. Um, it's a little easier to deal with, a little easier to clean. And like I said, the, my favorite part is you don't have to take the whole toilet apart. You just kind of pull the bucket out of the area. So. Pretty cool design, all in all. I really like this compost closet. One thing to note when you do just dump out the urine, I just dumped out all that water I put in here. I would just maybe make sure you go ahead and go in and dry off these areas before we put the um, thing back on. I'm not sure, I don't think you'd have any issues, but just to be sure to keep that uh, corrosion or anything off of those or just to keep anything from shorting, just give them a little wipe down and then just slide it back in place. So yeah, that wraps up our review on the Cuddy Compo Closet urine diverting agitator composting toilet. Uh, it's the full package. It even has the indicator light, uh, giant drop zone. We've went through all the features. I can't say enough good things about it. So just thanks Kooks for uh, checking this review out. If you like the toilet and you're interested in buying one, you can purchase it down through the link below, helping us out on our journey, giving us a little kickback through Compo Closet's affiliate program. So thank you so much, Kooks. Smash that like button if you liked any of this content. And also discount links through for Compo Closet are also available on our Van Kooks Van Conversion Masterclass. So checking out the link if you're on your van conversion journey and you need some help, I highly recommend checking out our masterclass. You get step-by-step -step guidance. We also do online calls so you can bounce some questions off us. And it's all around just making your life so much easier through the build process. So Thank you, kooks. We'll see you in the next review or just in the next video.